Simmer Wang, and welcome back to another CC Find. And I know it's Monday, but what I'm gonna do is, um, CC Shoppings, uh, there will be no longer CC Shopping because I feel like it's gonna take way, way too long for me to, like, show you guys. Sometimes, maybe sometimes, I'll do CC Shopping and CC Find, but as of right now, I'm just gonna do CC Finds only, and CC Finds will be switched to Mondays because Wednesdays, um, I'm planning to start, okay, I feel like I'm starting too many new series and too many rush. Um, well, anyways, what I'm going to tell you guys is that on Wednesdays, um, uh, well, upcoming Wednesdays, not ready for it yet, but, like, I'm hoping to get this done sooner, um, before December. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to start a new series, and w what I'm going to tell you guys now is about, it's basically, it's about raising a kid. I'm just going to put that out. It's about raising a kid. I'll tell you guys more about that when that days come. And then the Montgomery story, um, it's going to be on Thursdays, every single Thursdays. Right now, it is not entirely finished, too, and I have a reason for, th for that. And also, I have a reason for why I've been lacking of posting videos. Okay, so the reasons are, well, okay, the main reason is, is that there have been some family problems in my family. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's kind of hard to record a, you know kind of be happy during those type of times so I kind of wanted to take a week to myself to try to gather everything my thoughts everything to myself you know, all calm down and then start recording for you guys again hopefully you guys understand that you know I'm not trying to like be all grumpy grumpy while recording you know so yeah but that's what I'm planning to do CC finds to be every single Monday Wednesday well upcoming Wednesdays I'm not too sure I want to get this done before December for it uh, this, this will be done before December. Yeah, this will be done before December. Um, it's going to be a new series. And then Thursday will be the Montgomery story. I also want to get that done before November. Because I'm almost done with the townies like that, you know. Like I said, these past few weeks, I haven't got the time. And I haven't got, like, you know, yeah, mostly the time to do it yet. I'm hoping to do it pretty soon. So, yeah. And my nose is stuff again. Like always, this happens whenever I am recording, so nothing new, but let's try to gather all these thoughts up together and start this CC Finds. Okay, so I got these CC Finds. Um, I, okay, disclaimer, I got a lot of CCs the past weeks, the past like three weeks, something like that. When I, like, the, I think my last CC Finds was like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, in those two weeks, I've got a lot. I'm just going to show you guys some, though, because, you know, some of the CCs, I'm just showing you guys the CCs I, that I can talk more about and that I'm very, very interested in. So, yeah, and um, just to say this out, um, I do not know all the creators that made these CCs, so, because I didn't write anything down, like, write the creator's name down or anything like that. So, this is basically just rem remembering, remembering from the top of my head. So... Um, sorry if I did not, you know, give you guys who the creator of these CCs are. But anyways, let's jump right in with skin detail. Okay, so, um, I did get a few skin details. Um, the first skin details that I got, let me go ahead, and this is, okay, so I got a new profile picture for my YouTube channel, and I will be honest with you guys, it kind of looked alpha E. Due to like the skin details and this lip color, because I use this lip color and this eye, it looks very elfy. I promise you, it's not elfy. It's because um, I have an overlay. Let me try to find it. This one. Yes. Okay. So I have this overlay here. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the creator's name because I don't remember it. But I got this skin overlay, skin detail, whatever you want to call it. It basically. To be honest, from afar and from even near, it kind of looks very alpha y. It does. But I really, really like this a lot. And I love this. It comes with like a little pack. So this is just like the skin overlay. You can use this by itself. You can put like a skin overlay on top of it. Um, it also comes with freckles. That's what she's wearing right now. She's wearing some beautiful, beautiful freckles. And then it also comes with a few. Um, nope, I do not want moles. Please don't do this to me right now. Really? Come on. Okay, this is turning to disaster. There we go. Okay, got that out of the way. Okay, well, it does come with some shine as well. You get to choose how much shine you want, like how bright you want it, how dark you want it. Your choice. I usually go with like this tone right here 
or this light tone here because I don't want it to be too shiny but I also do not I kind of want to show the shine too I feel so weird talking right now because I know this stuff is making me talk really weirdly Ugh. is there ever a time when I'm recording that I'm not sick or I don't have like a illness going on I don't know <laughs> but yeah I really really like this pack that came with that skin details I love the shine like there are so many choices for the shine whatever you want to pick you can pick and then this also comes with a blush too i'll show you guys that in makeup in a little bit but yeah but this i would you know this skin overlay it would work with maxis match and alpha just if you want to make it work with maxis match um you could go ahead and put like a skin overlay like this or uh, no that's not gonna work of course you're not gonna work here the eyelashes are gonna go away for a second is that on yeah okay see you put like a overlay on it you know just to make it look a little more maxis match i guess and then i also got these um because okay before i had these um uh eyelashes by kijo um am i saying that right i don't think so but they were in my accessories column here now i got like four or a few eyelashes in my skin details so now every time I make a sim, I don't always have to go on accessories and click the eyelashes and all that stuff. Because, you know, it's kind of irritating and kind of very annoying and very, you know, it's making it harder for me. So I decided just to get skin details. I just click it once and it will stay on my sims for the rest of the create a sim or whatever. But yeah, I got two different types of eyelashes. This one, it's a little more, um, I don't know, a little more natural, I guess. I'm not too sure. I'm not good when, when it comes to describing eyelashes. But I really like, do like this one a lot. Basically what this eyelash is about is like the eyelash, it doesn't curl up, it curls down. Am I making sense? I don't know. But yeah, but I really like this eyeshadow, eyeshadow, no it's not eyeshadows, eyelashes, yeah, get it straight. I like this eyelashes a lot. And then this is another version, but this one is just a little bit more longer. And it's, um... The shades are more highlight brown, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I really like both. And then I have, like, the original one that I have in my game already, an accessory column. But I really don't need to show you guys that because, you guys, I think you guys have seen that quite a bit. So, yeah. And then um, I got this one, which is a little more shorter. Um, it's just a very, very natural eyelashes. So, yeah, right now I'm using this one because this one is kind of my favorite right now. But, to be honest, all of these are my favorite. So, oops. <laughs> I just knocked my earbuds out of my ear. Isn't that great? Okay, let me put this let me put this back on real quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, we got that fixed. Sorry about that. And then, um, the last thing in skin details that I did get was this, um, chin. It just makes, like, it kind of shows, I guess, depth in this, in this chin a little bit. Is that, I don't I think I'm making sense here. Um, it just shows the chin a little bit more. Okay, I really don't know what it's called, but you can see how the shade has changed. It makes it a little more darker. Yeah, that's what it does. That's, that's how that works. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to hair now. Okay, so this hair is from the creator Brittany O'Harris, something like that. Oh, I'm so bad when it comes to creators. But, yeah. I really, really like this hair. I really, really like all of the CCs that she makes or he makes. I'm not too sure. But I really love all their CCs. Seriously, this hair is gorgeous. I love, like, the light curls. I love how it's stuck behind her ear. And I love how this one is just over her ear. It looks very, very elegant and very, very well-styled, I guess. So, yeah, I really, really like it. And then the second hair that I have, it's, um... I'm not even sure I pronounced the creator's name, but it's basically a very um, nice ballerina bun, I guess. But it's not on the top, it's like mostly in the middle. If that makes sense, I'm really bad at describing. And then it comes with like these little side bangs, well, sides bangs on the, by the ears. I feel like I'm not making sense at all. I'm so bad at this. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, I really, really like this hair a lot too. It's very, very elegant. Um, I do, I'm gonna name this as a wedding hair because I feel like maybe one of my sims can rock this at a wedding. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> but yeah, moving on to the third hair, it's this, um, 
like a slick back hair and it's not very long it's kind of medium just a perfect length basically and I really really like this hair a lot I love how it's slick back uh, it's just amazing I really like this hair a lot my hair is never well styled it's always frizzy and messy and dry because I don't know how to take care of my own hair so isn't that great <laughs> okay Moving on to this, this is a ponytail, and I actually, I don't know who the creator is, but I found this on Little Simsy's Tumblr. Oh, yeah, did I find that there? I think I did, or maybe it was on my dashboard, I'm not too sure. But I found this ponytail, and I really, really like it a lot. It looks so, so cute and so natural, so simple. I love it. I love the side bangs by her ears. I love how high the ponytail goes. Um, let me just put this out. Whenever I put my hair in a ponytail, one... It's either frizzy. Two, my hair is dry. You do nothing. Um, three, uh, it's never like slick back. It's never like you know perfect. It's always like my my bangs are going to go to the right side, and then my hair that's on that's in a ponytail right now is going to go all the way up to my head. And that makes sense. Yeah, my hair is super messy. <laughs> I need to find like a hair styling gel or whatsoever or like hair products. Just make my hair not too frizzy and yeah i'm still learning here i'm still learning about hair products you know i'm not good at them yet um hopefully i will learn more about them in the later future okay and then on to the fifth fifth hair right yes the fifth hair it's this um high really really high bun by wms which is well wms is like the short name but like their long name is mildly miniature sandwich yeah <laughs> I like this hair a lot. I usually download most of their hairs from this creator just because I feel like they are really good at making hairs. I say it to a lot of creators because, you know, I'm not picky when it comes to CCs. I really, if I see something that I really like, I just download. No hesitation, no second chances or whatsoever, I just download it. <laughs> Sometimes I may be like, oh, do I really, really need this? Most I just download it. I don't know why. But yeah, this is, I really like this bun a lot. I would also consider this as a wedding hair too, because I feel like it would rock with an amazing veil or veal at the end. Am I making sense? I'm not too sure. Like, see, I had like this veil or veal hair. I don't know how to pronounce things. Okay, let's ask Suri, okay? Isn't that the greatest thing? Okay, let me ask Suri. I'm probably saying it wrong. Wedding veil. Am I saying it right? Probably saying it wrong, aren't I? Veal? Okay, I found this on the web for wedding veil. Is it called wedding veils? Okay, sorry to no help. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, I'm gonna keep calling it wedding veils or veils because clearly Yang here does not know how to speak English. But yeah, see, I mean, it is a clip on the bun. Why is my game like this? It is a clip on the bun exactly, but it feels, it looks like from like the front that it does clip. So it kind of looks nice. I know it's like, since my background's white, it's kind of hard to see. But you know, yeah. I would definitely say this is a wedding hair. Well, at least in my preference or my style, I guess, I would call it wedding hair. Because you know, I what I do in my game is I have some hair that I've, you know, I could wear in every single day. You know, this hair I could use for some particular creative sim or like that and then I have like a particular topic or selection for wedding hairs where this hair these hairs are only used for weddings you know you know but they can also be used for like every day or whatever but I'm gonna you know if that makes sense yeah <laughs> anyways I'm so bad at describing stuff and explaining stuff but yeah I really, really like this bun a lot um moving on to hair number six yes so this hair is another um Ponytail is by Weeping Simmers, one of my favorite, favorite, most favorite creators of all when it comes to the Max's Match games. But yeah, I really, really like this ponytail a lot. I love the side bangs here. You know, I really, really miss my side bangs because I cut in my bangs and now they look like little tiny, I don't know, but I'm not a big fan of my bangs anymore. I want my bangs to be, because my, before my bangs were like this, they're by my, they're like really long. And I was gonna grow it out to be like my hair. No, I cut it down. Great, it's not. Anyways, um, and then I really like how this ponytail, it's very low, which kind of, it's kind of a connection to me. Because whenever I make a ponytail, I can never make it like straight up perfect. So I always put it like in a low ponytail. So I don't know, I don't know. Just, I don't, no hairstyle can, can look good on me. <laughs> 
Oh my god, my nose is killing me. Ugh. Okay, moving on to hair number eight. So this hair is by, uh, what is the creator's name? Oh my god. Um, the site is called My Stuff Oregon, but I think the creator's name is Kira Zerk. Um, most, what, well, most, what, okay, one of my most favorite creators as well, um, like I said, I have a lot of favorite creators, but this is one of, when it comes to, like, Max's Match hairs, this is one. So, I like this hair a lot. I usually have a lot of this creator's hairs, like, especially my game, like, okay, I have, like, this one, I have, like, um, oh, I forgot that I got these two hairs. Okay, I'll put that on my next, um, CC finds. I forgot that I downloaded those two. Oh my god, yeah, I wanted to show that, but now I just remember. Anyways, um, I really like this hair a lot. I love how, you know, it's half of, like, the hair is, like, slicked back, and the other, you know, half is, like, on her ears, or, like, hiding, not hiding, like, her ears are hiding in it, and that makes sense. You know, I'm really bad at describing stuff. Sorry, guys. But, yeah, I really, really like this hair a lot. It reminds me of how... It reminds me of a very, very girly person, and, um, you know, you know, really preppy, very pretty, you know, just all that stuff, you know? Okay, um, and is this the last hair that I have? Nope, I have two more hair for you guys. So, this hair is actually a retexture of the own base game hair. Um, I could try to see if I can find it real quick to show you guys. Um... Which is probably not going to happen because when it comes to looking for hair, I'm so bad at them. Um, where are you? Oh no. <laughs> Did I lose it? Dang it. Okay, whatever. I think I get the point. It's that hair that has highlights in it, you know? Yeah. So this is a retexture of it. Now it just looks more... I want to show you guys the hair. Just then it, then it makes sense, you know, what I'm talking about. But then again, I can't because I can't find it. It's base game. Um, formal. oh my god, yeah, this is gonna take me forever. Stay with me, guys, stay with me. Be patient, please. Okay, um, oh my god, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Okay, found it, finally. Okay, so you see how this base game here, the hair, this, by the way, this is one of my favorite EA hairs. So you see how in the back, it's very, very low cut, very, I don't know, like very layered out, I guess. I'm not too sure how to say that. And then you see in the front, like this is like hiding her eye, kind of, in a way. Now, this hair, it makes, it looks very, very normally, I guess. I guess you could say. So it's not her, eyes not hiding the hair. And then in the back, it's still very, very low cut, but it makes like the front look kind of, look, okay. The back, to me, I just don't like how it's like very low cut like this. You see how I'm talking, at least what I'm talking about, like these low cuts hair here, like that side of the hair. And then the front, it makes it look very, very good. So thank you whoever the creator is that retextured this hair. I really, really like this hair a lot from the base game pack or the base game game. So yeah, so I really like this hair a lot. Moving on to the last hair that I have for you guys today. It is also by from My Stuff Oregon, aka Kira Zerk. And this hair is actually used in my new YouTube profile picture. So, there you go. <laughs> I really like this hair a lot. It's a very long braid, and it makes you look very, very, um, kitty, I guess, or really childish, very immature, which is all about me. I'm a very immature person. I really am, guys. Like, I am no, I'm not a mature person at all. Maybe at school, I try to act like I'm mature, but when I'm at home, oh, I'm not mature at all. I'm always getting in trouble here, but, um, yeah, I really, really like this hair a lot. My earbuds keep on slipping out of my ear. Isn't that great? I love how perfectly placed everything is. I love how there's like side bangs here, but they're very long side bangs, which I wish I had those type of side bangs. And then you have like some like hair on her face, which I think looks really, really cute. And I also love the long braids. I think this is a very, very cute hair. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to makeup. Now I didn't get that much makeup, so I'm gonna spare you guys a little time. Well, actually let's get to accessories first. Okay. So, this is a earring that I got, and I think it came, no. So, I think this is called, either the creator's name is Gold Rush, or this title of this accessory is called Gold Rush. 
I'm not too sure. But it's basically a very, very cute earring. It comes in a bunch of color. I specifically like this gold a lot because, you know, it just, like, pops out more, you know, it just brings up like, more color in her. So, yeah, but this is an earring that I just got. And then I also got, like, these bow earrings, which I think are super duper cute. Comes in a few colors as well. I'm not too sure who made this earring, but whoever did, oh my god, I love this, love, love, love this so, so much. And, um, did I get anything else? I feel like I did not. Oh, my nose is killing me. Uh, what else did I get? I feel like that's all I got for accessories, did I? Yeah, that's all I got for accessories. Okay, so I didn't get that much for accessories. As you guys can tell, let's go ahead and move on to makeup. Okay, so for eyeshadows, uh, surprisingly, I did not get any new eyeshadows this time. So, yay me, no new eyeliners, a few blush. Okay, so this blush is included in that skin detail pack that I showed you guys earlier. Um, yeah, so basically, it, does it, it comes in a few colors. Like, okay, so it has like a solid color here, and then the solid color, but a little lighter and a little more shine to it. And that makes sense. And then here's like a more really pink color, you know, it just makes your skin look very, very, very natural. It doesn't really show the color out that much, which, which I really, really like because, you know, I'm not too, you know, too much of a fan of like the thick blushes, you know, like too much blushes. I feel like you only need like a little bit. And I like really natural colors when it comes to makeup. So yeah, I really, really like this a lot. Moving on to lips. These lips are, I'm not too sure, but I found this on Tumblr. Um, to be honest, I kind of looks outfit E, but I'm not going to delete it because I really, really like this. So let's just say now I'm going on a Max's match plus a little bit of alpha in my game. <laughs> So, yeah, but it is a lip gloss. I love other colors that come with it. Um, they're mostly very elegant colors, I would say. Like, I love, love, love this red here. I think it just, she looks really, really good in this red, at least in my opinion. And then it comes in a black color as well. So you want your skin to be a little bit more dramatic, a little more bold. You know, definitely do you. So, yeah, I also like this red too, like this really dark red. I love it. It also comes in a few light colors as well, but I, and this color, my favorite, but I prefer more of the darker color because I feel like, I don't know, for me, I feel like when, I feel like dark lip gloss, you know, are better than the light ones, but that's just my opinion, by the way, please don't hate on me, that's just my opinion, so yeah, but I really, really like this lip pack a lot. Okay, moving on to a eyes, 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 eyes. Okay, so I did get one new eye. Um, it's not default though, because I feel like it would like, like conflict on my other default eyes that I have. But this is a face paint version. I really like this eye though. It is kind of alpha e once again, but I really, really like it, so I'm not going to delete it. I love other colors that come with it. I especially love this green and brownish color. I think that she looks so, so pretty. And then there's some dark brown colors as well. It makes, it's really, it looks really, really, really realistic. Yeah, it looks really, really realistic. I really like it a lot. So yeah, she looks adorable in this eyes. I think you really should down this eyes, these eyes, because you know, these look perfect. Who's calling me now? Oh, my dad, great. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this part a little bit. So I can go ahead and answer my phone real quick. So I will be right back, guys. Bye, well, I'll be right back, bye. Okay, okay, so I am back. I had to, um talk to my dad and then um we had some tv people um, from like this brand that we ordered tv from come to our house to set up our tv stuff like that so it kind of took me like two hours um to do that so now um after two hours i'm back recording so yeah but these eyes are gorgeous i really like these eyes a lot even though they are a little bit alpha i i'm still gonna keep them because you know <laughs> um i want these eyes <laughs> okay so moving on to like the second makeup i guess thingy majiggy okay so the second makeup is these lips so these lips i forgot who the creator is of course nothing new um but it's 
It's not really outfit y, it's kind of like the glass lip, but this is more of a matte version than a lip gloss version. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, you have a bunch of choices to choose from, like if you want more of a nudish color, if you want more of like a bold, dramatic red color kind of thing. I like bold colors a lot. I think it just shows, I think it like shows you a little more, more better, if that makes sense. But I also do like these nudes a lot because, you know, your girl loves nudes. <laughs> but yeah, these are some pink, some rosy pink colors, some bright pink color, purpley colors, pink purpley colors. Yeah, there are a bunch of choices to choose from. And then moving on to this lipstick. Okay, so this was called the Jeffree Star um, lipstick. And I think it was supposed to be like a replica of... Did Jeffree Star release like a lip line or uh, like a lipstick or lip palette or something like that? Did he? Okay, if he did, then this is kind of like a replica of that. If he didn't, then probably this is just using his name in a CC brand. So yeah, but this is what the lipstick looks like. This is what the swatches look like. I really, really like this a lot. Um, it really, really maxes match. Now with the other two, this one is like full on maxes match. So yeah, I love the bold colors as always, like I always tell you guys, but I also like the light colors as well. Like I love this color right here, or I love this light pink color, you know? Like I, when it comes to lipsticks like that, I don't, I'm not, I'm fine with every single color basically. So yeah, um, cheap, cheap, mm, nope, okay. Moving on to, I think, yeah, the last lipstick. Sorry my nose is stuff. my nose is always stuffy, sorry about that. So this is the last lip lipstick. Nope. No, it isn't. I lied. Sorry. <laughs> this is the fourth to the last, okay? Forgot to include this one in my thing, but I'll show it to you guys anyways. So this one, it's a more of a gradient lip thingy, kind of a jiggy, like the usual one that I've downloaded in my past CC finds. This is this. This is that. Um, I forgot, like I always, forgot who the creator is. Um, I'm not a really big fan of this gradient, but I will use this for like, if I don't want my stamps to wear, if I want my stamps to look like they have natural lips on, no lipstick on. <laughs> okay. Um, finally get a sneeze out of the way. But I would definitely use this if I want like my stamps to not have lipstick on. This would be like a really good natural lip kind of color. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, I really, really do like this though. And the last and the final lipstick that I got, this was included in the skin detail pack this is the lip gloss or lipstick or whatsoever then again i will use this for like natural lips because i feel like it would just like make more sense and it matches more with the colors so yeah i really do like the skin skin detail pack a lot so yeah i have fallen in love with this first color here that just looks so good it looks so nice so um plumped and is it just it plumped a word is plumped a word? I'm not too sure. Probably being stupid. Okay. But yeah, so that's all the lipstick that I have for you guys. Let's go ahead and move on to clothes. Finally, it's not what everyone goes on CC Find videos for, just look at the clothes. <laughs> and, oh yeah, by the way, um, these CCs will of course be in my Tumblr, so go follow my Tumblr, go reblog my Tumblr posts, go download all my Tumblr posts because that's where I reblog a lot of CCs for the for for you guys there so there's a bunch of variety of choices to choose from by the way my Tumblr name is summer wang like my channel name and also it's also in the link down below so go ahead and check that out and also all of these cc's well most and i can find these cc's most of them will be linked in a little google doc kind of thing in the description as well so yeah but let's go ahead and get into clothes let's start off with this cardigan jacket jean jacket i don't know but this is actually in a pack with the Simple Simmers pack. And this pack was mostly all um, jackets, it's like that. Okay, so this is the first one that I'm gonna show you guys. It's more of a jean jacket. I love jean jackets. I don't own any of my own though. I used to when I was a little kid, but then, you know, I outgrown it. So yeah, and then this is like a more summery boho kind of look. It, here, let me change the pants up a little bit. <laughs> There you go, see, because it was like meshing with my skirt. So yeah, but I really like this a lot. It's kind of more of a beach kind of jacket thingy, majiggy. So yeah, I really do like this a lot though. And then here comes another one. Yep. This one reminds me more of a businessy kind of cardigan or jacket. 
Um, comes in a bunch of color, so you guys have a bunch of color to choose from, so that's good. And then the last one that came in this pack, yes, the last one, is this jock type of jacket thing. And I'm definitely going to have my sim wear this a lot, especially my teen sims, just because, you know, it just kind of make it look like they're in school and they're like all preppy. They're in the football team, you know, their girlfriends are a football player. I don't know, but yeah, but I really do like these a lot. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and take this cardigan or jean jacket off so I can show you guys. Where do these go? Here we go. Get my skirt back on. So I can show you guys this top. So this top, I'm going to go, I know who the creator is. I know who it is. I just can't say the person's name because I'm horrible at pronouncing names. Um, it's, okay, do you guys see this, the thumbnail here with a skirt, the yellow skirt here? See the name on it? That's creator. Tree Quill. Sorry I'm saying that wrong. I, I, oh, I feel so bad. Okay, anyways, but this is the um, halter top. Is that what it's called? Forgot. But this is a halter top. And I really, really like this a lot. I love how it's kind of like a tank top, but it's also kind of like a crop top at the same time. I don't know. But yeah, I don't own any of these my own because I'm a little, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't like showing too much skins when I'm going out like other, I don't know, people do. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, but I really like this a lot. Um, I wouldn't wear this. Well, okay. For me, okay, let me, put her, let me put her in a jean. You see how, okay, so you see how she has a jean all this top on? For me, just my opinion, I wouldn't make her wear this top with jeans or like really, really low waist jeans. I feel like it just doesn't look good as high waist jeans or even skirts or shorts. I feel like, you know, if that makes sense, yeah. I don't want, I don't, for some, it's my, in my opinion, I don't want her to be wearing low waist jeans with these top for some reason. I, I, don't, I don't think they match good together. I don't think they go well together. So I'm not just going to do that. So yeah, but this is the top. I really, really like it. Moving on to this skirt over here. This skirt is also the same creator and it's more of a schoolgirl sh skirt, which I love. I used to own like a schoolgirl school girl skirt when I was little. I think it's from my aunt because when she, had, when she went to school and she was little, they had uniforms back then. Um, I think some schools still do in America, right? Yeah, but my parents, my parents, my family, they were from um, another country. So, well, my, yeah, from another country. So, they went, they had like, they were like uniforms to school and all of that. So, you know, I used to have that, of course, I outgrown it. And I've never worn it to school. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is like, I call this a girl girl skirt because it reminds me of like, the type of skirt that girls would wear as a uniform to school. I love all the scratches that comes with this. Um, this is so, so cute. A rebel sim would rock this skirt. Seriously, I'm having so much ideas. Um, my new series that I said I want to start on Wednesday, I might have someone wear this. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna give you guys too much details about this series because I kind of want it to be like a little surprise. It's, you know, yeah. It's, yeah, I just wanted to be, I just want you guys to like, I'm not going to tell you guys all about it until I finally made the sim, got everything worked out, and then we can go ahead and go to create a sim, and we can talk more about this. And then, moving on to these shoes. These, okay, are these shoes? I feel like they aren't shoes. Okay, so these two come, this shoes or socks, whatever you want to call them, comes in two versions. The first version is it covers your whole entire feet and it kind of looks like they're like boots, but they're socks. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that these are boots because, you know, don't they look like boots from afar? They kind of look like boots when you like get close kind of with them. They look like shoes. They, I mean, they look like socks. So yeah, but they come in a bunch of colors. I would say that this look kind of alpha i I'm still going to keep it though because I really, really do like this. Well, you guys did the designs, it kind of looks alpha i I'm still going to keep it, like I said, because I really, really do like this a lot. And then the second version is open toes, basically. Let me put in, like, a darker color so you can see it better. Okay, so it comes with a darker clothes, and the dar darker, dark, darker toes, what? It comes with the open toes, and the open toes are actually nail polish in them, which I think is super cool and super cute. But, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to have my sim wear this. 
but I feel like some of my upcoming creative stem I might have some I still wear this. But yeah, moving on to outfit number two, starting with these, um, this shirt. This shirt is also by the same creator as the skirt and the top last um, clothing outfit, whatever. Yeah, this is by the same creator. This is more of a um, crop top, turtleneck shirt, long sleeve. I am so bad when it comes to clothes. But yeah, I really, really like this so, so much. I think this is so adorable. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't know why, but I've really been to crop top lately. I don't have that much crop top of my own. I have like a sweater crop top, like a, like a knitted sweater crop top that I got my grandma, which I wear like so many times. Like it's my one of my favorite crop tops ever. That's like long sleeve and all that stuff. Yeah, anyways, yeah. But I really, really like this a lot. Moving on to the bottoms. And then these bottoms, um, the name of the creator, I'm gonna jink his name, Apper Sims? April Sims? Sorry I'm saying that wrong. But anyways, these jeans are fabulous. I love how, you know, they don't even look like jeans. They look like leggings, but very, very stylish leggings. You know what I'm saying here? Yeah, like you see they have like cuts in them and all that stuff. I don't know what you would call these. Like, it just looks really, really fashionable. Like if someone like, oh, it looked like leggings. I don't know. I really, really like this though. This is super cute. I'm gonna have my sim wear this every single day. Like every single sim might wear this because these pants or jeans, or leggings, whatever you want to call them, jeggings, um, oh yeah, jeggings, yeah, there you go, jeggings, um, these are fabulous, I really, really like this a lot, I love how, it's like, I don't, what do you call these, they're not, it's, they're not like ripped jeans, ripped jeans are like, ripped jeans are like ripped jeans, these are different, okay, <laughs> I don't know what you call these, um, help me down below, maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know what they're called, that's, that might be the case, anyways, moving on to outfit number three, so this top and this whole outfit, except for the shoes, except for the hair, except for the face, <laughs> is from the same creator as the last two tops and skirts and like that. So this is, um, okay, so this isn't like, I kind of have something I want to show you guys. Okay, does this shirt not remind you of McDonald's? Like, the second that I saw this shirt, I didn't even know that they had this color. So basically, I downloaded this because I thought it was super cute, of course. But then when I was going through the swatches to find out which one should I showcase, I found this one. Does this not remind you of McDonald's? Like, seriously, when you go inside McDonald's, the workers there, the people that are making your food for you, the people at the cashier, they're wearing stuff like this. But, you know, the... Even it, like it shows, like the red and the yellow stamps of McDonald's. Isn't that like the logo colors? Isn't that like what they usually try to wear? Like the color theme is that their store, their shop, or their restaurant, or their fast food restaurant, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, okay, for, I'm just gonna point that out. I'm probably being stupid, but yeah, there are some like solid colors with the white, of course, and then there are some like really, really solid colors, and then there, this reminds me of like mimes i don't know why it just reminds you and then there's some floral designs am i saying that right floral maybe not but there are some floral designs which i think is super super duper cute um i really really like this crop top polo crop top i don't know really really much um i like clothes like these a lot i don't know why just something about me just makes me like it a lot so yeah <sighs> moving on to these bottoms the same creators as the top of course these are really, really cute skirts. I love these. I love like how the designs on like the like the bottom, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I really, really like this a lot. I love all the colors that come with it. I love the ombres. I love the solid colors. This, yeah, this skirt, I'm never going to delete it. I always say that about every single CC that I get and then I end up deleting it. Um, maybe that will happen to this one, but I'm planning not to delete this one because this skirt is the bomb. Moving on to outfit number four. Now, um, once again, I download too many stuff from the same creator. This is the same creator as the last three outfits. So, once again, this this shirt, it's a crop top, um, long sleeve, just like the others, and then I have a skirt. There's really nothing to say about this outfit because it's just exact same as the others. We're just gonna move on to outfit number five. Okay, now we're done with that creator. Now we're moving on to some other creator. So this, I think it's a retexture from the old, uh, from the base game t-shirt or whatsoever, but this is a shirt from Detron. 
Sorry, I'm saying that wrong, but they have a bunch of designs to choose from. Um, they're mostly have words on them. Um, I don't know how to speak or read Simlish. Um, whoever does, can you please tell me what these words mean on the shirt? Is it inappropriate? Is it nice? Is it kind? Is it inspiring? Is it advice? I don't know. I just, I don't know how to read Simlish. I wish I did. Is there like, is Simlish actually a real language? Okay, there's something wrong with me. Anyways, I really, really like this shirt a lot. Um, I don't know why. I like plain old t-shirts. I like words in the t-shirts. It just, it just looks nice. I don't know why. And then moving on to these bottom, these are the um, same creator as those, um, as these pants right here, the same creators. But this is more of like a workout shorts or like a pajama shorts. I don't know. They're, they're very low, low, low knee shorts. Is that what you call them? Low shorts? I don't know. Short shorts? Short, short shorts? Okay, I don't know anymore. But yeah, I really, really like this a lot. This outfit that the whole entire outfit that she's wearing right now, this could basically be a sleepwear outfit. Just to be honest, this could be like a whole full sleepwear outfit. Kind of looks like, you know, it's like, it look, kind of looks like pajamas and all that stuff. So, ugh, I'm speaking too fast and I'm make, making myself mess up um, on accident, not on purpose. Um, so, we yeah. have. But anyways, moving on to faux body next is outfit number six. Now, this dress I found on Little Simsy's Tumblr page. And I absolutely adore this dress so, so much. Like, seriously, I love this. Okay. So, um, comes in a bunch of color. It's more of a short dress, kind of. A very formal or party wear dress. I wouldn't wear this on everyday, or sleepwear, or athletic, or swimwear. Unless you want to be, like, bold or dramatic, or, um, I don't know. Some people like to swim in a dress. I don't know. Um, depends on what you like, okay? But I really, really like this dress a lot. I feel like Ashley Orlando could definitely rock this dress. I love this dress so, so much. It looks so cute. I love all the colors. I think it's amazing. Moving on to the second dress. Is this dress by Simple Simmers? Now, um, okay, warning. Okay. So, if you take out this, okay, just going to show you guys an example. If you take out this sweater kind of thingy, majiggy, where did it go? This, if you take out this like crop top thing, it shows, I think it shows a little bit too much cleavage. So I would recommend wearing this dress with, with this, um, dress kind of thing. So great. Thanks mom. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wearing my room. Anyways, um, so anyway, it's like I was talking about, if you didn't wear this crop top kind of thing, it kind of shows too much cleavage. So, you know. I don't like leave it, you know? So I just, I'm gonna go, I would recommend wearing this uh, dress with this. Oh my God. I hate I hate when my mom comes in my room about knocking. That's so annoying to me. Isn't that annoying to other people? Like see, if someone, like now I have my own personal room, right? I don't share my room anymore with my mom. Like stuff like that. Cause I used to share my room with my mom in my apartment. Anyways, I hate when people don't knock. Seriously, you might be like changing. You might be, you know, I don't know, like sleeping or whatever, and they don't knock and they literally come in. It's just annoying. I, that's one of my, that's one of my pet, pet, uh, pet peeves. Anyways, I love this dress so, so much. I really love this red color. I feel like it's so, so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay, um, let's stop gushing about this and move on to outfit number eight. Dress eight. Not too sure. Eight. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so this is a dress, um, I feel like I want to delete this, like, to be honest with you guys, I really want to delete this. I'm not a big fan of this no more, because, look, her arms, it's a little weird, like, you see how this dress, when she had it on, her arms are by her side. She's not, like, being uncomfortable or whatsoever, my earbuds came slipping out of my ear, but this dress, it's like, your hands, it, it's like, fall out, I feel like she's uncomfortable in the dress, so, um, I don't like this dress at all. I feel like I'm going to delete it later on. So, yeah. But moving on to outfit or number nine. Yeah, number nine. So, this is a um, t-shirt dress. Shirt dress. I'm not too sure. Let me try to find it. There you go. Okay. So, this common a few. This is actually the recolor. The plain old, like, through the mesh is this one. You know, I'm not a big fan of of like this knitted one here because it kind of it kind of looks too staticky to me but i really like this dress or this shirt 
a lot. I'm not sure what to call it, but I really like this a lot. I wish I owned like a t-shirt dress or whatsoever because I feel like those are so cute. Even though I think, are those like the newest trend out right now? I'm probably still, I know you know, I don't even know the, what the trends are. Um, are you done mowing? <laughs> Neighbors? Please stop that. It's really irritating. I hate when they're like mowing their lawns. I hate the sound of mowing lawns. But anyways, I really, really like this a lot. I think this is super cute. So yeah. And the last. Is this the last? Nope. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm lying to you guys. Anyways, um, this is like the last like formal dress that I have for you guys. This is a original t-shirt dress. I love, love, love this so, so much. You basically have 99 <laughs> colors to choose from. Almost like, okay, earbuds, stop slipping on my ear. Almost like a thousand, I feel like. There are so many designs for you to choose from. There are so many color options, so many squatches to choose from. I honestly, if I could have this many same t-shirts, but different designs, I would be so blessed. Like, I would be so happy, <laughs> but I don't. But I really, really like this so, so much. I'm gonna have my son wear this. I did not know there were numbers in the back. Does every single one? Oh, some of them have numbers in the back. I did not know that. This is so cool. I love it. Okay, and then I have two more stuff for you guys, and then the video's over. But anyways, um, this is a... Oh, I hate when I have to exit this. This is a bikini that I found, I think, on either Little Simsy's page or I found on my dashboard. I'm not too sure. But there are a bunch of designs in here. There's even some solid colors for you to choose from. I specifically like the designs a little bit better like this one because you know i'm all about those designs but yeah i really really like this a lot i'm trying to add more to my bikini collection than i have in sims 4 because i don't have that much bikini to be honest so i really do need a little bit more so if you guys know any good bikinis um that your sims that i won't break my game or it's max is match just like that please comment down below tweet me um text me on tumblr dm me on tumblr um dm me on instagram um maybe not snapchat but um um what else what else what what else social media is there is that all seriously is that all reach out to me any way you can okay all my social medias are all down in the description i really just need more bikinis so go ahead shoot at me try to find some like really cute bikinis throw it my way i will i'll probably do like a showcase of that maybe Okay, anyways, but I really like these bikinis a lot. I think these are so, so cute. And this is what I'm never going to delete from my game. So this romper that I have, I'm feeling like I want to delete, okay? Like, you know, like this bikini, I don't want to delete, but this one I kind of want to delete. Because, you know, like I said, I, I'm never a big fan of romper. I've told you guys this like a million times before. Like, I even have a CC find where I rant about rompers. <laughs> For like 10 minutes, seriously, like check that one out. I don't know what video it is, but check out my CC finds out. You'll, you'll find that I hate rompers. I don't know, like this romper that I got from Weeping Simmers, I really, really like for some reason. This one, I just hate. Um, I might, I'm gonna give it another chance. Maybe she just doesn't look good on it, but maybe other Sims look good on it. So maybe I'll try different Sims. If I really, really don't like it, I'm gonna end up deleting it because you know. I'm never a big fan of rompers. The reason why are because I feel uncomfortable with wearing rompers. I have a few rompers of my own. I never wear them though because I feel so uncomfortable wearing them. So I never want to wear them. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. My mom seriously is being so annoying. Okay, anyways, um, that is why I don't like rompers. I feel like I'm so uncomfortable when wearing rompers. Like seriously. Especially when you have to go to the bathroom, like a little bit TMI here, but whenever you go to the bathroom, it feels like you're being completely naked. Like seriously, come on now. Um, just feel uncomfortable, but yeah, that is all the CCs that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, oh, she does not look good. Okay, let me just go ahead and fix her up a little bit. Where's that cardigan that she's wearing earlier? Um, this one... Um, maybe not that color. This color? Yes, okay. Um, change her shoes to these shoes. Okay, nope, not that color. Okay, now I can do my intro. I'm my outro. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, so every single one will be CC Finds. Wednesday, I'm starting a new series. And Thursdays, hopefully, will be my Grammy stories. But, you know, I'm trying to get those two series, like, 
available for you guys to watch before. Well, the, one, the new series on Wednesday, I'm trying to get that before December. And Montgomery Storm, I'm trying to get that before November. So, yeah. But, once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, leave a comment below. Like my video. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And, always, um, hit that. You know, what? What did I? What? I can't do my outro no more. I can't remember. Oh, my God. I've been gone so for so long. I can't remember it no more. Okay, let me try to get this on the right track. Um... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And right now, as of for right now, every single Wednesday is a break day except for, well, yeah, right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not in the new series yet. So every single Wednesday for now will be a break day for me and you. So, yeah. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.